Welcome to Revive All Ministries. I got a bit of a serious one for you today, but you're going to want to watch it. Please stick around till the end. We're looking at Matthew chapter 24 today. I encourage you to read it. It is all about the end times. Jesus explaining the series of events that are going to happen in the end times. Jesus lays out a series of events. Let me read to you Matthew 24, starting in verse 4. Jesus says, Don't let anyone mislead you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah. They will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and threats of wars, but don't panic. Yes, these things must take place, but the end won't follow immediately. Nation will go to war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. But all this is only the first of the birth pains, with more yet to come. Then you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. You will be hated all the world over because you are my followers. So you see, Jesus is talking about a series of events here. And I believe we are in those times where we are seeing wars, rumors of wars, famines, earthquakes, false messiahs, and deceivers. Are we not also seeing persecution of Christians? In over 60 countries, Christianity is illegal and or persecuted. People are literally dying for the name of Jesus. And with the current state of events, with different agendas around the world that are anti-Christ, are we not seeing people rising up against Christianity? Are we really that far from worldwide persecution of Christians? I don't think so. And if you think we're that far off, please pull your head out of the sand and look through the lens of Christianity, through the lens of Jesus and what the Bible says. We are close, my friend. You need to be spiritually preparing for this. These are not what ifs. This will happen. The only what if is, will it happen in your lifetime? And judging from the events that are coming true in the Bible, such as the Euphrates River drying up, which is another Bible prophecy that is going to come true, that is coming true now, that is in coordinates with the end times. If this is gonna happen in your lifetime, are you gonna stand by your faith to the point of death? Or are you going to betray God for your life? Remember what Jesus says, anyone who is trying to save his life will lose it. And anyone who gives his life for me will save it. If you try to hang on to your life, in this lifetime, which is an absolute drop in the bucket compared to eternity, you will lose eternal life. Jesus will close the door on you and say, depart from me, I never knew you. And if those words don't chill you to the absolute bone, then you need to question your own salvation. Are you saved? Are you saved? Please, brothers and sisters, prepare yourself and your family and your friends, your Bible study group and your church for the reality that is standing strong against tor torture and trials and persecution, imprisonment and death, all in the name of Jesus. Do not betray him when the time comes.